Hi, I'm Dr. Jesse Jutkowitz, and I'm the person who did the research and figured out advanced biostructural correction. It's nice to meet you. A lot of people um, don't realize that there is no longer any excuse for uh, a chiropractor or any body, any doctor or any person doing body work not to correct every person that walks in your door with a mechanical problem unless it's connected with cancer, infections, fractures, or something like that. But now that it has been done, it is true. There are no excuses anymore. A brief history of how it happened uh, starts in the late 1800s. There were a lot of people who did body work before that, and they did actually very good work. But uh, the guy who started chiropractic made the observation that bones go out of place, it affects the nerves, and then after that you start having body problems because of the way it affects the nerves. There are also structural things, but we'll get to that. Uh, after a little bit, he noticed, as did others he taught, that it didn't work consistently or predictably on every single person. A couple people with headaches, one you'd fix, one you wouldn't, or uh, a couple dozen people with headaches, most you would fix, a couple you wouldn't, something like that. Back pain, same thing, knee problems, whatever you're talking about. There was a reason for that, and people did a lot of research to try and figure it out. Uh, once they had x-ray down um, and could reliably take pictures, uh, especially towards the late 60s and 70s, chiropractors uh, in particular did a lot of research to prove that when bones were crooked, it pinched on a nerve, you straightened out the bones, the pinching came off the nerve, and the body worked better. They didn't get the results they thought of getting. The problem is that about 50% of the time, they would get x-rays, see the curve or see the change, see the bones out of place, adjust the person for days, weeks, months, whatever they did, and then they would take another x-ray. Within 50% of the time, the spine wouldn't change at all. 30% of the time, there was actually a larger curve, or what they considered a worse spine. And 20% of the time, it looked better. Now, even with those results on x-ray, much more than 80% of the people did absolutely fine symptomatically, neurologically, and orthopedically. You know, if you did the orthopedic and neurological test, they were great. But the x-ray test didn't seem to correlate. And there's a reason for that, and uh, it's a basic misunderstanding of how the body works. We'll go over it in a little bit when I go over the x-rays. After that, uh, the Council on Chiropractic Education and the American Chiropractic Association, as well as the, the various medical boards and uh, everybody involved, came along and said, you shouldn't take x-ray because it doesn't mean anything. You'll find out that's not true. You can predict and consistently get results using structural body care if you follow the protocol for advanced biostructural correction. From a historical perspective, um, you can take a look at what happened. After the x-ray research didn't work out the way they thought, chiropractic went into uh, the fact that the nerves caused the bones to go out of place and therefore you have to deal with nerve interference and they got away from looking at structure. This was a mistake, but you'll find out about that in a few minutes. Now, the other thing that happened is because of this, people started to do various energy work. Um, you have network, you have um, body magnet, you know, all, there's all sorts of uh, energy work. But these things haven't worked out. As a matter of fact, the guy who started chiropractic uh, was a magnetic healer. And he could get some results, but that wasn't consistent either. He found correcting structure actually worked better. And the people who do uh, energy work today find out that they test people like applied kinesiology or any of the other energy work they find out that when they do their tests and diagnose what's wrong with the person from their perspective and somebody runs the advanced biostructural correction protocol on them, when they go after, they find out that almost everything is gone. Usually everything is gone. Sometimes a few things aren't because you can't fix a person 100% in one day. But that amazes people and basically what it comes down to is if the structure is exactly the way it needs to be, the energy levels and the energy flow all becomes fine. Literally, at this point, if you fix the structure and then you look at things after, you'll find out that there's very few things to look at. Also, 
as I said, there is no longer any exceptions. You can fix every person that walks into your door that doesn't have a structural problem connected to cancer, infections, fractures, or the like. I promise this can be done. I'm Dr. Jesse Judkowitz, and here we go with the explanation of exactly what's going on and how.